Alright, what I have here is a couple more laptops just arrived. These are two that do not have any operating systems, but they do have, uh, you know, everything else. Uh, they've got, I think, a 320 gig hard drive, um, i5 core processor, 4 gigs of RAM. These are Dell laptops, including the uh, power adapters. So, yep, basically got them for $100 each, and then FedEx shipping, so about $17 there. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and load uh, Windows 7 64 bit operating systems on both of these so I can have them ready to go and sell. I'm pl planning on selling these in Mexico for uh, Christmas. So, yep, let me go ahead and get these open and we'll check them out. Yeah, right off the bat, I got some decals I'm going to have to remove. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why they don't do that, but. You know, not gonna complain too much because that's kind of minor. These really don't look too bad. I don't see any major scratches. There's some residue of some sort on there. But, uh, yeah, overall, pretty decent shape. Let me get this around and uh, get one open here. Oh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Dell Latitude. Um believe these are 6220s. I'm going to have to double check. I'll open this one up. Yep, same thing. Windows 7, i5 core, Dell Latitude. So, nice. Okay. Batteries included. Um, it doesn't really say. Just got an old... Pro key, but that's expired. So nice. All right. Well, let me go ahead and get these fired up. In fact, let me see. Disk drive is somewhere. Let me see. Oh, these don't come with a disk drive. Well, that's going to make loading an operating system interesting. Yeah, no disk drive at all. Well, yeah, I can hook up a external disk drive and uh, load it that way. So, that's what I'll do. Now, before I get started, I'm already getting rid of the residue and peeling this other sticker off. Just a little bit of care and patience you can get these off pretty easily and then you don't have to use like rubbing alcohol to dissolve the residue and get the rest of the get the rest of that crap off so yeah I'll do this first just to get these out of the way and this one's a little bit more difficult I have a little bit more residue to get off no biggie just a little bit of elbow grease and alcohol. There we go, all cleaned up. A little bit of alcohol that's drying up. So, yeah. Again, I don't know why sellers can't, you know, clean these up a little bit to, you know, make them look a little better. But I guess that's uh, against the religion or something. Who knows? All right. So what I got? My USB 2.0 adapter hooked up to a disk drive via USB so that's what I'll use to load the operating system with so yeah we'll go ahead and fire this up test the battery first there we go lights coming on E6220 that's what these are alright success Windows is loading files disk drive is working sweet so we'll let it do its thing and then Yep, IDE's busy. So, of course, it's upside down. Uh, all lights on, data transferring. So, yeah, like I said, let it do its thing on this one, get it all loaded, and then we'll work on the second one. Yeah, I went ahead and plugged up the adapter. I don't know what the status is of these batteries, and don't need it to shut down while it's loading Windows. So, yeah, 
Better safe than sorry. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah, I see a little charger icon there, so it tells me it's charging the battery. All right. Setup is starting. All right. All right. Two two hundred ninety eight gig, which is basically a three twenty. So good, unallocated. Well, disk drive's working. Still expanding Windows files. Take a little while. Still going. Well, this drive is buzzing. About 90% and rolling. Good. Uh, it says it's installing updates, but uh, I don't have the internet hooked up to it yet. I'm just doing the basic install right now. Alright, completing the installation and that'll wrap up the first one. And it's rebooted successfully. Alright, Windows 7 loaded successfully on one. So I'll go ahead and start on the other. Alright, number two. We'll get it started. This one's dirty as well. Yeah, I'll clean it up. Make it look nice and purty. Alright, so far so good. Loading files. Alright, everything loaded successfully and it's rebooting. And now we're getting set up for first use. Alright, we are up and running. I might go ahead and do a rating real quick. Check the system. And change categories, small, let's see, system right there. Okay, i5 core, 4 gigs, 64-bit operating system. Rating is not available. We'll go ahead and do that now. Rate my computer. Well, it really didn't take too long at all going through all the components. So, cool, we'll see what we got for a rating. Well, the graphics suck. 1.0. Processor, 7.1. That's not bad. It's one of the higher ratings I've seen. RAM, 5.9. And the hard disk, primary hard disk, is 5.9. Alright, well, I guess I'll just wrap this up now that I've got the operating systems loaded and they loaded successfully. These are Dell E2, no, E6220 model laptops. Uh, might even be considered notebooks since they don't have a disk drive, but I call them laptops. So there you go. I guess we'll wrap up this little computer, you know, review. Wasn't much of a review, just loading the OS. So uh, if you're looking for one, I recommend them. They seem to be all right. Unless you're gaming, then no, I wouldn't get one. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks for watching.